What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. I hope you're all having a great day today. We are down here at Cycleland Speedway for the final points race before the Outlaw Kart Showcase. I wanted to show you the new wrap on the car. Got the 18T, it's a little bit of a different red kind of. That's what it is, we got factory cart, Holmes, Burst Racing Tire, Jet Fitness, Durst, Kevin Share Designs. I wanted to show you the wrap before we got into the vlog. I actually really like this one, almost a little bit more than I like the North Carolina wrap that we had. Let's get into today's video. They just called the driver's meeting. Let's go show you guys Cycle Land Speedway. Here's a look at Cycle Land Speedway. You guys have seen this place quite a few times in the vlog. Last time I was here, I started 19th in the T2 Arrive and Drive cart and I drove it all the way up to 5th in the A main event. So pretty good finish, that was right around the bottom. I actually don't even think I ever went to the top side. Last week in qualifying, they were turning very fast lap times here. I believe a 10-0 in the track record is a 9-9, so it's probably gonna be similar tonight. Looks like you just put a little bit of water on it, gonna be hooked up in qualifying. We go out in group number three. Tonight is gonna be a good night though at Cycleland Speedway, driving the factory QRC number 18T. First off, wanna thank QRC for the opportunity and all the sponsors on the car. Burst Racing Tire, Kevin Shera Designs, Durst Racing, Jet Fitness, and everyone that supports it. Also. Kevin Shara's kid right here, buddy. What's your name, Rylan? Yeah. Rylan, he loves being in the videos. I think you've been in, what, two or three, four, uh, three, four times, actually? Uh, five times. Five? All right, cool. Well, you're driving tonight. What's your number? Four, number four tonight. Number four? All right, well, hey, go get him. Let's see if we can both get the win tonight. Okay. Cool. So we're getting ready to head out for qualifying right now at Cycle Land. My cart is over there under the factory QRC tent. I'm getting ready to get in, but I have some fans of the videos that want to be in the vlog. All right, what's your name? Logan. Logan, and you've been in the vlog before, right? Yes? What's your name? Brody. Brody's been in the vlog quite a few times. And then this is your first time being in. What's your name, buddy? Brent Rauscher. Nice. Okay, where are you from? Nevada. Nevada? All right. Hey, thank you guys so much. So you're racing tonight, you're racing tonight, and then are you, you're racing Monday and Tuesday at the showcase, right? I'm practicing tomorrow. Practicing tomorrow? All right, cool. So we're heading out soon. My car's I'm, over there. I yep. was just Oh, you're just practicing? Yeah, All right. Then I um, kind of, but there was no wall. I wanted to actually drove on the wall if there was a wall. Really? Wow. All right. So we're heading out soon. Let's see if we can do good and qualifying. doing some track prep right now on Cycle Land Speedway. So sometimes I use the term Daryl a lot and I was a Daryl in qualifying. So we went out for practice. I would think I was like 21st quick. The reason being I went out early, the track wasn't greasy, but it just got way better. But we had lots of speed. I was wide open. I was entering high, opening up my entry, getting through the bottom and felt really, really fast for when I went out. Went out in qualifying, we thought it might be a little bit faster to lift a little, let the engine breathe on entry, and I just was lifting too much in qualifying. I was only about a tenth and a half off, like tenth, but I was 26 quick, like that is super, super slow. I believe we have 35 or 36 opens tonight. Just, it was almost like the same in the T2, you know how it was like 25th and then we got better through the night, so hopefully that's how it is tonight. We do have a fan of the videos, buddy, what's your name? Justin. Justin, and Justin, what class do you race? It's Dustin. Oh, Dustin. Oh, I'm sorry. It's super loud. What What class do you race? Uh, box stock. Box stock? Awesome. Is this your first time here? Uh, no, it's my 10th time here. 10th? Awesome, dude. Well, good luck tonight. Go get him. I appreciate you watching the videos. So yeah, let's hopefully you can get better in the heat race. We start fifth, top three transfer. Like I said, I, I just felt like I didn't do my job in the heat race, or not heat race, qualifying. I just needed to go wide open thing. I would have been better and maybe a top 10 qualifier after that. So we're gonna be heading out for the heat race soon. They reworked the racetrack, so hopefully it's not too tough to pass in the heat race. We're getting ready to head out for open heat race number three. We start fifth and it's gonna be crucial to get around other racers early on. I'm talking like the first corner, first lap, second lap. Otherwise, once they spread out, it's gonna make it tough to pass. And right now it still has a lot of grip on the bottom. So really 
Like I was talking with Jesse Caldwell and he said really a good way to pass when it does get one lane if you can drive it on the right rear and maybe catch the grip but it also looks like it's kind of slimy in the middle so we're just gonna have to see when we get out there I don't want to make a plan because whenever you make a plan in racing it always doesn't happen how you want it so we're just gonna head out there start fifth got to get in the top three to transfer to the A main event. are over I really just didn't get the result that I wanted I started fifth and finished fifth early on I was actually rolling I got up to second because they flipped on the first lap so third place flipped second place got caught up in the incident so since they reverted back I ended up starting third so I was in a transfer spot rolling good I got a good jump I was actually in second and then third the second place guy drove back around me and I just my car did not come off the bottom very well so after the race we ended up changing the engine also something I need to note so I was running third on the first lap after the flip and I ended up just spinning out all on my own I just I choked. I don't know what it was. I just got the left rear was driving. I kind of got a little in the slick and it just kept driving. I just couldn't couldn't stop it. So it's about an hour after the A main event. I came in here just to get a quiet place to vlog. It's kind of loud outside, not much lighting anywhere. As you can see, heat races were like an hour ago. Kind of a frustrating day so far. I really just need to get going in the A main or the B main actually. I don't know where I'm gonna start there. They're gonna post that soon. Just like I said, kind of frustrating. I thought today would be really, really fast. And just with the engine issue, it just didn't come off the corner. After I fired back up, I was able to drive it back to fifth, but a few times I was right there for fourth and I just couldn't make anything happen because I had to clutch it so bad. And, Anyway, so we'll see if we can do the B main event. The track's not really widening out, so it's kind of dangerous. It's super fast right through the middle, and I don't know what that's going to mean. Basically, that means that it's going to be a lot of junked stuff tonight, a lot of junked race cars if the racing goes on like it just did in the dash. And the dash was some good racing, but so tight, and like one guy flipped, and it, it just can happen really easily when the track's this fast. It's a hooked up racetrack. I'll let you guys know where I start in the B main event, though. Earlier, though, I did get to meet a fan. He actually works at the racetrack, and he's an employee for Cycleland Speedway. Here it is. We are down here with the fan of the videos, buddy. You actually work at Cycleland, right? Yes, I do. What's your name? Nolan. Nolan and Nolan. So have you ever raced before or you just really want to race? I really want to race. That's awesome. And how long have you been an employee here at Cycleland? About like a few months. Awesome. And then doesn't, what, do you have a dad? What's his position here? What's he do? A, the flag man. Awesome. Well, that's cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for what you do for Cycleland. I appreciate it, guys. All right. I think now we're going to be heading out for the B main event. I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep you guys updated when it comes up. It's really cool that I got to meet him. His dad's the flagger here at Cycleland. So that was cool. Now we're going to head out for the B main event here soon.
The B main's over. Uh, really, really frustrating night. We like, I just, I think I just never really got in a rhythm. I don't know why. I just, in the B track was really tough to pass. I mean, you ran the bottom and there wasn't any grip down there. And then, like, you ran like three quarters of the way up and there was a lot of speed, but you couldn't hold her wide. It was like slick on entry. And then you had to get back in it. And it was a really, really fast racetrack. I just feel disappointed. Like, I thought tonight was going to be a good night. And I had a lot of confidence coming in. I just didn't really make anything happen. It's really dark over here, but I wanted to show you guys the car. It's really hard to see, but at least you can admire the awesome paint scheme, the design, the graphics, they're awesome. I just disappointed I didn't have a good night. It's it's actually really, really dark over here, but yeah. I mean, we made an engine swap before the beat. It was definitely better, but we just didn't start off the night right, so that put us behind, and I made mistakes in the heat race and in the B. The open A's out there. I came back over here just to get some good lighting. I don't know. Uh, this vlog's really all over the place, and it's just a disappointing night. I just didn't get in the rhythm. I didn't have a lot of speed in the heat race because of the engine issue, but at the same time, if I don't spin out, maybe I'm already in the A because I can just hold on. So I don't know. I don't know what it was. I really had confidence coming back to Cycleland. I really struggle at some big at the big tracks uh, in outlaw carts. In the sprint car, like I could go from Cottage Grove to Grace Harbor or wherever, and I really just had a lot of speed. And the big tracks didn't face me. It's not that this place does, but for some reason, like I've only won four A mains, four or five A mains ever here. And I just, if I run good here, it feels like a win, and it's just tough. I don't know what it is, but if I go to Red Bluff or Roseburg or any of these short tracks, even if it's one lane right around the bottom, I do much better than I do when I come to Millbridge or a place like this. So I don't know what it is with me and the big tracks and the outlaw carts. It's just tough. And like I said, I don't usually run that great here. So just a frustrating night. I just really feel bad for the team. It's just not a good start off to the weekend. We're going to the showcase. We're starting fresh, so that is nice. But, you know, like I said, it would have been nice to come out and win, run top five tonight. So I don't really feel like tonight, I mean, it was productive, of course. But at the same time, like, you know, I just didn't get anywhere. I didn't get in a rhythm. I didn't get a lot of good laps in. Uh, I finally got some speed in the B main, but I just kind of got caught up with some guys that just were throwing sliders for second and got caught up in a wreck. And I also made some, just, I made too many mistakes that I didn't go forward. So I don't know. Got to thank Jimmy Ellidge and QRC, though, for the opportunity. Definitely want to do better for Showcase just tonight. Move past it. Everyone has their bad nights. And tonight was definitely a very, very bad night. I mean, qualified 26, finished fifth in the heat and didn't even make the A main. So doesn't get much worse. This is probably my worst night I've ever had at Cycling, like ever, ever. I don't think I've ever done worse than this. Besides, I think I've only missed one other open feature here, and that was when I could write rookie year. So is what it is. Sorry this vlog's all over, but I do got to thank this everyone is supporting me, and I promise we'll come back to Showcase, and we're going to give them all we got. Yeah, definitely better than tonight. We just got to really put a full night together, and I think since we have that other engine, a lot, a lot more speed, you know, and I think that could have hurt us also why we were, weren't as great in qualifying, and then the heat race struggled. Let me watch the open eight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video for Showcase. Deuces.